Hello friends of DNN Sharp, my name is Bogdan, I am the owner and in this video I'll show you something really cool that we did with uh, our search boost and our Sharp scheduler module and that is granular indexing of content and, th and that means we've created an API that you can invoke with a schedule task in Sharp scheduler to index an individual custom rule or an individual folder or an individual module now imagine the possibilities. So you have your .NUC site and you have your pages that don't change very often and you have a, a few pages or a few folders that you need to, to be indexed as soon as something uh, new is published. And this is called near search uh, indexing. And that is to minimize the time between uh, when new content is published until it becomes searchable. And Using this technique that I'm going to show in this video, it's possible to reduce this to, to maybe less than a second. Though many times it will be something around a few seconds or a, a few minutes. So before I get started, I will uh, quickly uh, show you what you need. So you'll need a list search boost um, 2.9.30. And you would need... Um, Sharp scheduler, of course, and then you would need an extension called Sharp Scheduler that search boost, which adds these extensions to Sharp Scheduler, and you can download this from either Search Boost downloads or from Sharp Scheduler download sections. So I'll just install this really quick, and now it will show up here. So it's called AVT Search Scheduler. Sharp scheduler that search boost version 1.0 and that's what you need to be able to create new jobs and index content from search boost so i will start by creating the classic example in search boost which is indexing of users there's also a tutorial on this so I, I won't uh, spend too much time explaining it. I just index all the users from the database and I will index their first name and their last name and I will select the display name to be the title column and the user ID to be the ID column and maybe just I don't care about the URL just send it on the home page okay save index and I will test this with the host user um, actually super user yes so it's super user account so now what I will do, I want to index this custom rule, maybe as often as a few seconds. And I will uh, demonstrate how this display title will update here. So I'll go back to the site. I will create a new job and I will say this job to index every, um, maybe every five seconds. And on misfire, I want it to do nothing. I don't care if it misses a few bits. I only care to be as often as possible. And in the actions field, the notice there is a new section called self boost. This was added after I installed the extension. And here I will choose to index a custom rule and I can give it the name of the rule. I'm saving this. And now it will run automatically every every five seconds. So next run just happened. I can see I have a failure here. Yes, yeah, so I've got the name of the rule wrong. It was users and I put it user. Okay, so it's users. Save this. And now I'll watch it as it will run again any second now. Ok, 
okay so just run running now and it was a success so now that I have this rule in place I will just go and play with my display name so I will edit my account and at the same time I will search it in service and see uh, as the name change uh, the display name changes so I will just change my display name to host user I'll update this I go real fast search here you see it, says, it still says super user, super user but now it, it just changed to host user account because the scheduled task run so now regardless the fact that the whole content is probably indexed every 15 or 30 minutes this custom will, will be indexed as often as 5 seconds and you can see here actually Circus is giving me a progress bar when the indexing happens one thing to know is that you will only be able to run one indexing job at a time so if for example there are two indexing jobs trying to run at the same time the second one will fail quietly okay and there are two more um, two more uh, um, types of indexing you can also index a folder or a module I won't go into the folder now but I will go into the module and you actually you can put a list of module IDs here so what I will do I will go to a page maybe maybe to contact page and here I will uh, use one of these uh, HTML modules to do my test so let's take the visit us I should first grab its ID I can uh, see it in the um, in the button status bar of the browser is 394 so I will just say that the module 394 should be indexed as often as um, again maybe three seconds okay and uh, maybe just give a relevant name to this index contact page modules okay just saving that and let's see if this runs successfully yes this runs run successfully and now I will do the same thing testing so I will search for um, California and you can see it's the visit as module and now I will just um, search for something let's say Mexico which doesn't bring any result but I will just go in and add it okay now I'm saving this and searching for Mexico now will bring the result so you see it was nearly instant so now you can leverage the processing power of your server with the interval and uh, the content update policies to achieve near instant indexing for custom rules for modules or uh, for folders this is it i hope uh, you find this very useful let us know on our forum if you need anything thank you for your time